Hey guys, it's Jack Jack and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys my no makeup makeup routine. This has been my go-to like everyday makeup look when I don't really want to think about doing my makeup, but I want to just throw a little something, something on so I'm looking a little fresh and awake, you know what I mean? So this is like the makeup I wear, well honestly day to day, but like going to church, running errands, um, just hanging out. This is like this is it. This is the makeup look. In my last makeup tutorial, I asked if you guys wanted to see this video and you guys said yes, so that is what I'm doing here. I also asked in that video if you guys would like to see a fall makeup look using the Carity Picante palette and you guys also said yes to that, so I will be sure to do that for, I don't know if it'll be my next upload, but I'll do it sometime this month for you guys, so stay tuned for that. But if you're interested in finding out how to get my no makeup makeup look, a natural, just everyday kind of makeup look, then just keep on watching. But of course, if you are new to my channel, hi, my name is Jack Jack. Make sure you hit that red subscribe button and the little bell so that way you are notified of future videos and you officially become part of the Little Flower family. I always say that in my videos, but even if you click that little bell, I still don't know if you will be notified because you guys know YouTube is a little weird. But if you do subscribe, you officially become part of the Little Flower family, that's for sure. So okay, let's go ahead and jump into this tutorial. I have been trying really hard to get better at using sunscreen, so I actually use this every day before I apply my makeup. This is the Pharmacy Green Screen Daily Environmental Protector. I feel like it can be kind of hard to find a sunscreen that you like, especially one to put on your face, but I really do like this one because it doesn't feel too heavy or like um, thick, where it like doesn't blend completely, like, you know, thicker sunscreens. I'm saying the word like a lot and it's driving me crazy right now. But I like the way that this blends and it kind of just feels like a primer. So that's why it's just been so easy for me to use every day before I apply my makeup. Ta-da! Our skin is protected from the sun. I also heard it's really good to use SPF even if you're not in the sun, but it, you're on the computer all day long, which I feel like most of us are if you work at a desk or if you're just editing on the computer all day long like me. It's good to wear sunscreen as well. So fun little fact. Now for foundation, this has been a favorite for a long time, so this won't be a surprise, but this is the Too Faced Peach Perfect Comfort Matte Foundation. I'm using the shade Natural Beige. I just take this on a little sponge. This is the Pure Cosmetics sponge. And when I'm like getting ready really fast, I don't even wet the sponge, so I just slap this baby on like this. I start from the outside of my face and then work my way in. And I just add a nice thin layer to even out the skin tone, cover up any like minor blemishes, freckles, redness, that sort of thing. If you want to apply your foundation but you want it to be like super super natural to the point where it doesn't cover your freckles, say you have freckles like I do, and you don't want to cover your freckles, you can sheer out your foundation by mixing it in with your moisturizer. I have eyelash glue stuck on my lashes. Pardon me. And an eye booger. Oh my gosh, I'm just a mess today. But yeah, this foundation has really a great coverage, so I'm just doing a nice thin layer. But again, if you want an even lighter coverage uh, and you want to sheer out this foundation, you can mix it in with your moisturizer or any kind of face oil. I like to really press it in to the nose on the side over here. Like really get in that nose crease right there. My nose is where I get the most redness, so that's why I really want to make sure I do a good job covering that area. My forehead, I put like the least amount of foundation because I don't, my forehead doesn't really need it. I kind of just add it on there to even out the skin tone so we're nice, we're like one nice even coat of color. So you can kind of see my freckles a little bit still. Um, you, if you want to cover it, you can definitely go back in with another layer and cover that up. But we're going in with concealer which might end up covering it up. And the concealer I've been using nonstop for I would say the past month or so is actually from Collab. This is the No Flaws Liquid Concealer in Beige Tan. This is a really nice lightweight concealer. It doesn't have the best coverage, but it does have like a really nice brightening effect, which is why I use it. So I use it more for brightening, not so much like the coverage. If you're looking for coverage, go with either the Tarte Shape Tape or Too Faced. Um, Born This Way Multi Sculpt Concealer. Those two have great coverage. 
This one is just kind of so-so. So I apply it under my eyes and then the center of my face. And then just using the same sponge to blend that out. And this makeup look, you guys, takes me only 10 minutes, sometimes even less. Depends on how distracted I get while getting ready. But it's such a quick makeup look. You don't have to fuss around. It's just quick and easy, out the door kind of look. So see how it just like brightened up the eyes? You can still kind of see my freckles a little bit, but it's okay. So now it's time to go in and set everything. So I'm using the Too Faced Peach Perfect Translucent Powder. Love this stuff. This powder is the best thing I've ever tried. It's so awesome. So I'm just going to take a little bit of the powder on the same sponge. And I'm not even going to set my whole face. I just set the under eyes and then the center of my face. Basically everywhere I put the concealer. We don't want to go too heavy on the powder, especially if we're going for like that no makeup makeup look. So we're just keeping it super natural. I'm going a little bit on my eyelids just because... They're creasing a little bit, but literally that's it. Under eyes and then down the center of the face. Now I'm going to move on to bronzer. This is the Wet n Wild Color Icon Bronzer. This was limited edition from the Fire Dragon and Ice Dragon look. This is called Your Dragon Me Down. I really wish this wasn't limited edition because it is the best bronzer I've ever tried and it's so affordable. It's Wet n Wild. It's a cruelty free brand. I think vegan is Wet n Wild vegan. I always forget. I don't know, but I know for sure that they are cruelty free and they're just super duper affordable. I wish it was on their permanent line. So I'm just taking the bronzer and quickly going around the perimeter of my face and like the hollows of my cheek right here. So that part, but I'm going so, so quickly, or at least to me, this is so, so quickly. <laughs> Gotta get the double chin. I mean, look at this color. I'm dying over it. And then, of course, I always like to take just a tiny bit down the sides of my nose. And then I'm just going to brush that onto my eyelids, like kind of in the crease area, to round everything out. I love this bronzer! Now moving on to blush. Oh my gosh, you guys, I have been obsessed with the Too Faced Sugar Peach Wet and Dry Face... Oh, choked on the air. Wet and Dry Face and Eye Palette. This palette is so, so beautiful, and I literally use every color here. Sometimes I'll mix these two together, sometimes I'll mix those two, sometimes I'll mix these two. I'm, I use them all, and then this as the highlight. So for today, um, lately I've been doing a lot of this Sugar Peach color, which is more of the orange shade, and then Peach Pop, which is the more pinky shade. I do a little mixture of those two on my brush very, very lightly because it's so pigmented. And then I just brush it onto my cheekbones. And it kind of has like this highlight glow to it. And it's just so freaking pigmented, you guys. You can use this palette wet or dry. I have not tried it wet just because it's already so pigmented dry. Like, I'm a little scared for the intensity if it's wet. A little on my nose, as always. I just feel like if you put a little bit of blush on your nose, not too much, but just a little bit, it gives you that, that really young, youthful look and almost like... It's cold outside, like during the winter, you know how your nose gets all cold and red, but it's like a cute, in, in a cute way. <laughs> and then I take the highlight just a little bit because we're already so highlighted over here. I'm bringing it on the tops of my cheekbones and a little bit on my brow bone. And then the same on this side. Gotta get the tip of the nose, bridge bone, or bone bridge, wait, bridge, bone, nose bridge. I can't talk. Cupid's bow, and then we'll do a little bit on the inner corner as well. Now for eyebrows, I have been using the Mellow Brow Powder Duo in Chocolate. It looks like this. I have been mixing the two colors, uh, using a little bit more of the lighter color, but also mixing them at the same time, and just a flat shader brush. Dab, 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 a little here, but more here. And then I just go over my brows. I feel like I already have pretty thick brows, but just using this to help define them. Fill in any sparse areas, of course, but just kind of define like the arch, and it just kind of makes your brows look a little cleaner. And then for this front part, so I start, 
I don't know if you can catch what I'm doing, but I'm just making these quick strokes and dragging my brush slowly upwards until I get to the top part of the brow. So I start at the bottom and then slowly go up. And that's how I do this front part. And there you have it, a brow. I don't have the best brows in the beauty community, that's for sure, but we just, we work with what we got. So we have the brows done now. So moving on to the eyes, I've been keeping it super, super simple, you guys. I've just been curling my lashes, which I don't do all the time. I honestly only curl my lashes if I'm doing a natural look. If I do anything super glam with like eyeliner and everything, for some reason I get too scared to curl my lashes. Like I get afraid that my eyelash curler is going to mess up my eyeliner or my eyeshadow. So I really only curl my lashes if I am not wearing any eyeshadow or eyeliner. So curl those babies. And the mascara I have been using, I've been loving this. It's from IT Cosmetics. This is the Superhero Mascara. I just have this little travel size. Don't jump. Ugh, Zoe just jumped off the bed. Why do you always do that, little girl? Huh? BRB. All right, so I am back, and now continuing where we left off, I'm just applying the mascara that I've been loving, which is from IT Cosmetics. This is the Superhero Mascara. It's so good, you guys. You can actually see my lashes. And if that ever happens with a mascara, you know it's a good mascara, because... My lashes are never to be seen. They are just so freaking little. Do you see that? You can actually see it. Well, maybe not from where you guys are, but I can see them. <laughs> so before I put mascara on my lower lashes, another thing I like to do is go back to the highlighter that I used. And I just kind of run this on my lower lash line, like so. And it might look a little weird at first, but I really like how it just really brightens up the eyes. That might be a little too intense for some people, but I really like the effect that it gives. And now I'm gonna go in with my mascara on the lower lashes. Does anyone else do this with their lower lash mascara? You kind of like tap and like wiggle to separate them, but also to shorten them so they're not so crazy looking. Now lastly, for the lips, I have been loving this lip combo that I've been doing lately. So it's a total of four different products, but all meshed together. It's just, it's, it's my favorite thing ever. So I start out with lip liner. This is the Collab Lip and Define Lip Contouring Pencil in See-Through. It's a very light nude lip liner. And for lipstick, I use two of the Too Faced Peaches and Cream lipsticks. I have Undercover Lover and then Doll Face. So I start with the darker one, which is Undercover Lover. So this is like a really pretty deeper nude kind of color, which I love, but I want to lighten it a little bit more. So once I apply that, then I move on to Doll Face, which is the lighter of the two. And I just apply this right on top in love with this already but now just to top it off and finish it all off i am using the kylie cosmetics lip gloss in damn gina this was from the chloe kardashian collection from kylie cosmetics there is a full size but i just have this little mini that i keep with me and i just put this right on top and because i layered on so much on my lips i usually get a lot on my teeth so we got to do the little trick so that is it for this look. That is how I do my everyday makeup routine or my no makeup makeup look. Of course, this video is going to be like a little bit longer because I'm talking and explaining and chatting with you guys. But when I'm actually doing this while I'm getting ready, it takes me like no time at all. Five to ten minutes and I'm out the door. So I hope you guys give this look a try. It, I think it's so pretty and it just like enhances your natural beauty. It's nothing too like overwhelming on the face so definitely give it a try and if you have any requests for any upcoming videos be sure to let me know in the comments below i love you guys so so much and i will see you guys in the next video bye now time to go in with some powder to hello and the concealer i have been using non-stop for our oh, blah, blah, blah. look at how fast we're going no, stay, stay, stay. Don't you jump off, Zoe. Lay down. Lay back down. Lay back down. Good girl.